Hey, how's it going? It's Russell James of therawchef.com. I've got a lovely little breakfast recipe here for you. Five minute muesli. Now, on the page you're watching this, there should be a link somewhere to go to the actual full recipe. I'm just gonna show you the very quick method here and give you a few pointers and tips. Okay, so we've got our ingredients here. The first one we're going in with is our coconut. So it's just desiccated coconut into the food processor. Next, goji berries. Then we've got some soaked pecans soaked almonds. Now, a little tip for soaking your nuts and seeds. You'll often see online different soaking times for different nuts. So cashews are more porous, they only need about 20 minutes. Almonds take a little bit longer, four to five to six hours. Just throw all that away, don't worry about it. Just soak your nuts and seeds overnight, right? So when you go to bed, soak them, you get up in the morning and they'll be ready to go. Next, we've got some sultanas or raisins. Then I'm using these lovely dried mulberries. Then we've got some soaked pumpkin seeds. And I should also just mention that the reason we soak nuts and seeds is to make them more digestible, get rid of the anti-nutrients like the phytic acid and the enzyme inhibitors. I'm also gonna go in with some lacuma powder, which is a dried fruit powder. That's optional, but it's gonna give a little bit of sweetness. A nice little pinch of high quality salt, like Celtic sea salt or Himalayan sea salt. And I'm also gonna pop in some of this organic vanilla extract. Now normally I'd use vanilla powder. It's a much nicer ingredient than extracts, but I couldn't find any, so a nice organic extract will do in place of that. Okay, lid on, and then we'll give that a quick whiz. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It was just a little bit of a quick pulse in the food processor. Okay, now I'm gonna serve this portion with some freshly made almond milk right now, but if you don't make your own almond milk, you can just buy the best quality one that you can get. You can make a batch of this for three days, so you can keep it sealed in a container in a fridge. And if you've got a dehydrator, you can just dehydrate this and make it last much longer. There you go, just such a delightful raw breakfast. Five minute music, fantastic. Click on the link, it's gonna be somewhere around there for the recipe. Cheers.